YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, the NFC East is crazy. They, it's crazy. And, and they do this like, besides last year, they do this every year. Every year. Every year. When it looks like one team got it on lock and all the other teams are falling off and not even going to be close, the season just continues and rolls along. And then all these other teams, they just start creeping up. So now, first the Redskins had it on lock, but then Alex Smith got hurt in that Texans game, and that was all she wrote. Um, so then Colt McCoy, they started Colt McCoy, and he came into Dallas, and he he had he started looking good, but then slowly the wheels started falling off on that. Um, and then in this Eagles game. Now he's out for the season. I've, I've, I have never, or I don't recall. If I have, I really don't recall. Um, I've never seen them <laughs> diagnose somebody being out for the season uh, at halftime. Well, that quickly. Like, if, if it's a broken leg on the field or something like that, okay, yeah, I get that. Or they break their arm and you see their arm, like, dangling like that or something like that. But, no, I, I, I was like, wow, okay, he's out for the season that quick. And then Mark Sanchez. Mark Sanchez came in, and Mark Sanchez, it looked like he, he had the, the, the golden touch. He handed that ball off, and Adrian Peterson and all 33 years of him, it went that away. Uh, and it went for 90 yards. But that was, obviously that would be his biggest rush of the game, but that was like his only rush of the game. Because I think, what, he had like 97 yards or something like that? He ain't had too much rushing yards after that. Um, besides that big play, had he not got that big play, then... His rushing day would have looked very ugly on paper. Because um, they, the Eagles, for the most part, they were bottling him up. Um, whew, but yeah, Mark Sanchez, the, he, whew, you go from Alex Smith to Colt McCoy to Mark Sanchez. Whew, it's ugly. But anyway, back to what I was saying in the, uh, early in the video. Um, the NFC East is just so, it's so wild, man. It's so wild. It, it, uh, the, the Eagles are one game behind the Cowboys. The Redskins are one game behind the Cowboys. The Eagles and Redskins are tied up. The Giants are just down at the bottom looking up like that. Like, mm, well, okay, guys. Uh, and it's just, it's just wild. And, and Dallas, recently, Dallas has looked like the clear-cut front runner in the NFC East. But again, with how crazy it is, you don't know how that's going to go down. And now Philly plays Dallas next week. Oh, boy. This is, this is why the NFL is the best, man. NFL is the best. And it's not even close. It's not even close. Like even it, it, with my team. And shout out to everybody that watched that, that Flacco and Lamar Jackson video that I put out earlier today. Um, and if anybody... There's a debate on the Flacco Lamar thing. Just reference them to that video. Uh, and I'm sure they'll appreciate it, whether they're on the Lamar side or Flacco side, whatever. But anyway, this ain't about the Ravens. Um, I love, and this, has ha this is how Doug Peterson has been since he took over as the head coach. Super aggressive. This guy. <laughs> super aggressive. And I knew he was super aggressive, but I didn't know the numbers on how super aggressive he was. They showed how many times he went for it on the fourth down. And they said he has both the highest number of conversions going for it on, on fourth down and the highest number of attempts. So that's, that's kind of easy to get when you, but when you go for it so much. It, oh, boy. That, my, my guy, Doug Peterson, is not afraid to take a chance. Not afraid. And it, it, it takes me back to, um, I believe it was Carson Wentz's uh, rookie season. It takes me back to that, to where the Ravens, the, the Eagles played the Ravens in Baltimore. Now, Eagles season, I believe it was already over. And they had just got a touchdown that put them down by one. It was like a couple seconds left in the fourth quarter. Carson Wentz executed a, a game-tying drive. But the Eagles say, no, nah. Doug Peterson say, no, nah, I'm straight. I'm straight. Our season is over. You know what? Let's, let's try to make this, these Ravens season over, too. So they decided we ain't going to go for overtime. We're going for two. We're going for two. And I was like, what? I was so scared they were going to get it, too. But 
good thing for us, C.J. Mosley just he he tipped the ball and knocked it away. Um, so we've been seeing this aggression from him and that team for years. When they went for it on that fourth down uh, early in the game, when they were on, right on the goal line, oof. Um, this Zach Brown with that perfect tackle in the backfield, that thing was just beautiful, man. He came in off the edge and just, oh, it was, it was perfect. It was perfect. Um, and that gave the Redskins sort of that momentum. But then the very next play when Mark, Mark Sanchez handed off to Adrian Peterson, Adrian Peterson almost got, he almost got tackled in the end zone for a safety. And I was like, oh, uh-oh, that was scary, man. I, I thought it, it was, ooh, he was so close, man. It was so, it was, <laughs> it was so close. Then Mark uh, Sanchez did a couple of play actions, um, and they had to end up giving the ball up. Now, Mark Sanchez, he was, uh, he was up and down this game. He started off in that first half. He started off, and he, he, was, look, he was looking decent. He wasn't looking bad. He was looking decent. He was completing passes. He was moving around in the pocket, uh, throwing a few passes on a run. Um, and toward the end of the second half, he was trying. He was trying. He, and he was moving the ball downfield. And he, he, would it have been a touchdown? It could have been. Um, but he just overthrew his receiver by, I think it was Dotson he overthrew. He just overthrew him by that much. Uh, so it was inc- incomplete. So then the very next play, um, he dropped back. He was looking for something downfield. And he got hit while he was throwing the ball up. He was moving around in the pocket on that play, trying to avoid the Philly defenders. But he got hit while he uh, he got hit while he was throwing the ball, and it ended up it was up in the air for about twenty minutes. Man, I I was for sure it was going to be a pick because the ball it ain't like he he got to put all his uh, zip on it. So the defender who was going to be catching it, it was like catching a punt. It was like catching a punt. So um, Michael Floyd. Michael Floyd, the former Cardinal receiver, um, former Viking, former Patriot, um, he he showed some effort on that play, man, and he helped Mark Sanchez and the Redskins out big time. Because had he not shown that effort, that would have been a pick, and that would have took away the uh, the field goal that they kicked at that point. So that was big on his part, but that was it after that. That was it after that because Mark Sanchez, he damn, that was it. That was it. Uh, he started throwing the picks. Um, even though Josh Norman, Josh Norman and that Redskins defense, they tried to help as much as they could. They tried to because Carson Wentz, they, Carson Wentz was in, not, not only in the red zone but on the goal line. And on that pass to Alshon Jeffrey when jo- Josh Norman jumped it, I said, who is it? I said, is this Sean Springs playing? Is this Sean Springs? Shout out to them OG Redskins fans who remember Sean Springs, man. Sean Springs and Fred Smoot. I used to like them too. I used to like that little tandem, man. I used to like that tandem, Sean Springs and Fred Smooth. Anyway, um, <laughs> that was a nice pick, and I, it was looking like and when he first brought it out, I was like, oh, "Okay, you brought it out. Okay, let's see what you do with it." He looked like he was gonna be a pick six, but he got stopped, man. So and then, well, so did the Redskins from that point on. Um, the Eagles took over, and even with them taking over, um, they. These dudes scored a touchdown. And shout out to Darren Sproles, too, man. This game, having, <laughs> seeing Adrian Peterson run for that big, that, that 90-yard game like that, and then seeing Darren Sproles uh, in punt return and running and stuff, I'm like, what, what year are we in? This, ain't, this can't be 2018. Not these two dudes. Not Darren Sproles and AP. No, nah, man, say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. But these guys, they, they still got something left. They still got something left. And me, again, like I always say, I remember when the Redskins first signed Adrian Peterson, I would be one of the first ones to admit I did not think he would do anything. I didn't think he would do anything. I did not think it was that good of a pickup. I was like, okay, Adrian Peterson, oh, yeah, he, please. Ain't nobody worried about him. He been doing his thing this season, though. He been doing his thing, shutting a lot of people up, including myself. Um, Darren Sproles, this was his first game back since week one. They said he'd been dealing with a hammy. I know Eagles fans love Darren Sproles. I know so did the Chargers, too. Um, <laughs> I know the Eagles are glad that he's back. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that, like I said, this game was a little old school. And then, of course, with Mark Sanchez playing quarterback, too, that took us all back. And this guy was the first quarterback not only to have the butt fumble, but the butt recovery. Because when he got sacked, when it was live, I didn't even know that he fumbled the ball. But then when they showed the replay... 
and he got hit, I think it was Brandon Graham. But when he, when he sacked me, he knocked the ball out. The ball was bouncing him, and Mark Sanchez, he put his hands by his cheeks and grabbed the ball. And he got it. He got it. He secured it. So Mark Sanchez's cheeks are stronger than we know, man. They are strong. They are strong. But anyway, um, Eagles, uh, uh, what I was saying before with their aggression, they even showed it in the fourth quarter. Uh, well, well, no, it was the third quarter. Was it third quarter or fourth quarter? I forgot when it was when they got that, that last touchdown. And then they say, no, we, they could have went for one, but they went for two. They went for two, make it a two-possession game, and they got it. They got it. Boy, these Eagles, man, they are aggressive. They are aggressive. This was a team that um, they, this season they lost so many games by one score. They lost so many games by one score. They've been, they've been right there. They ain't trying to have no Super Bowl hangover, man. And they got a chance next week against the Cowboys to show the world that, hey, they either back or um, it's going to take a little more work. So we're going to see how it goes, man. But anyway, Philly, congrats. E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles, congrats. Shout out to them birds, man. How you bird gang, right? Uh, Redskins fans, um, I mean, you lost. They lost Alex Smith, lost Colt McCoy, and you got Mark Sanchez. Uh, I mean, you, you kind of, you, you know where things are headed, man. You know where things are headed. I mean, it ain't technically over till it's over. Cause they're tied with the Eagles, but it's Mark Sanchez, man. Anything can happen, but it's Mark Sanchez, man. Appreciate y'all, team. Keep it clean. I love y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm out, man.